Hey guys, it's Bailey21 here and welcome to a Let's Play of EVE. This is one of my favorite games. It's a game made in RPG Maker and this is, I believe, the latest version of the game. It is a little bit different from the version that I'm used to playing. I played one of the original versions. Um, it changed quite a bit. I played it through all the way last night. I did not play... There's an extra mission after you beat the game the first time, I didn't get to that, so I'll play it in a separate video and I'll do like a blind playthrough of that. But this game, I've played it so many times, I had memorized it, but stuff got changed around in this version, so it's a little different. Um, so, without further ado, let's get started here. Um, a few warnings though, there are minor jump scares in this game, it is horror themed, but it's not necessarily scary. It's just kind of unnerving at times, I guess. I think it's a really, really cute game, though. I love it. It's one of my favorite games, like I said. Um, but let's just jump right into it, okay? I'm tired of sitting on the screen already. But let's go. Let's play Eve. And I'll try to be voice acting this as best as I can. In the early afternoon, under a gray sky, Eve and her parents were on their way to an art gallery. Did you remember everything, Eve? Oh, do you have your handkerchief? You know, the one you got for your birthday? Keep it safe in your pocket, okay? Don't lose it! Well, we're here. This is your first time in an art gallery, right, Eve? We're here today to see an ex- uh, I can't speak today, wow. We're here to t <laughs> We're here today to see an exhibition of works by an artist named Gertena. And they don't just have paintings, but also sculptures and all kinds of other creations. I don't doubt that even you'll enjoy it, Eve. Should we get to the reception desk? Ah yes, let's get some pamphlets as well. Hmm? You wanna go on ahead? Really, Eve? Oh, alright. Just make sure you're quiet in the gallery, okay? Don't make a ruckus. Not that there's any need to worry about you, I suppose. Don't cause the other visitors any trouble now. Alright, and we have control of our character. So this is Eve. She is a nine-year-old little rich girl. She is adorable. Look at her. Precious child. Adorable. So basic controls here. You move with the con with the obvious control buttons, the arrow keys. Uh, you press escape, you can go to your item menu here, but this doesn't really serve too much of a purpose, quite honestly. If you press shift, you can return to the title screen, and pressing enter will let you examine things. So for this pamphlet thing, for example, there are pamphlets here. Movement controls. Exactly what I just said. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Alright, let's go on up here. I guess this is where we're supposed to go. And we can talk to some people here. Hmm. These looking at this art. Lady taking the newspaper. Okay, cool. What do you have to say, sir? Nothing. You are very rude to me right now, sir. Anyways, let's look at some other art. Why not? Ugh, towers. You don't know this word. She's a child. She doesn't know some of these fancy words, I guess. Death of the individual. Abstract art is weird. If you would even consider that abstract, I have no idea. What about you, sir? What a strange sofa. Nothing wrong with that, of course. I'd like to sit on it, but uh, I guess I can't. Cool. Uh, on table. You don't know this word. Okay. Let's just go ahead and... St I'm not going to show like every little thing in this game. I'm just going to basically try to do it as fast as possible. But it's not going to be a speedrun or anything. I just... I know how to play this game. And I don't want to keep you guys waiting for too long. So let's just start the game already. So when you examine this painting... The word. World, I mean. You don't know this word. So the lights flicker. Huh? Anyways, the music stops. And everyone's disappeared. Everyone has just disappeared. The lights are flickered off again. Um, no one's around. Uh, Alright then. Yeah. Um, let's go back upstairs, maybe? Hey! Hey! I saw you! Doesn't look like it's locked, but it won't open. Hey! Stop that! 
looks like someone was banging on this. Um, that's never really explained, but that's just one of the little minor jump scares that there are. That's about the extent of it, quite honestly. It's not that bad. But if you are scared by um, jump scares like that, or just horror themes in general, um, I would advise you stay away from this game, maybe. It's really not that bad. It's pretty low-key. But um, just to be on the safe side. If you don't like horror things, or like tiny jump scares, just anything like that, stay away from this game. Anyways, let's keep going. Oh, there's some... There's something on the wall here. There's a blue liquid leaking from behind the frame. Come, Eve. Come down below, Eve. I'll show you someplace secret. Alright. So, let's go back downstairs, I guess. We'll follow the strange writing on the wall and all the hauntedness. Another thing that I don't think I'm going to do, if you examine this window, it'll have like some blood come down from the window. I'm not going to do that just because I don't feel like it. And because um, this game has enough like low pixel count blood as it is, it's not that bad, but still. Let's not trigger anyone that we don't have to. I know there are some people who don't like blood at all, so I'll try to keep it to a minimum for those people. Anyways, we can go inside this painting now, so let's go. And get some very ominous music as we go down here. We're going to start off by going to the right here, because that's what you're supposed to do. Come, come, come. So let's examine this painting. Or this is not a painting, this is just it's a rose sitting in a vase. Take the rose, let's take it. So we obtain the red rose. And this red rose here is our life counter. As you can see up in the corner there, we have three hits we can take until we die. So, let's push this out of the way and go in this room. Look at this. When the rose, this, so too will you away. You want to know some of the words. That's kind of a hint saying what I just said, that if you lose all of the petals on your rose, then you are dead. Anyways, let's pick up this key. There's something on the ground. We're playing a blue key. Hello! Goodbye. And this is saying thief. Thief, 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 thief. We're not a thief, but okay. You and the roads are... Ugh, you must know the weight of, of life. You don't know this word. Anyways, thief, thief, thief. I am not a thief. Right, and the staircase is gone, so we cannot go back up. We are trapped down here. So let's go to the left this time. Look at this painting. Ugh, fish. You don't know this word. Okay, cool. Anyways, let me save right here. That's my file from earlier. I tried to make that as spoiler-free as possible. As you can see, it was on New Game Plus, but I was not... I stopped right there, because I wasn't going to play it any further. Anyways, let's go. We use the blue key. We'll go in here. To the green room here. Beware of the edges. I'll go into that. What that means here. There's a little dot on the ground. I'm an ant. I love paintings. My painting is especially cool. I'd like to see it again, but it's kind of far away. Anyways, we have a painting of a ladybug, a painting of a bee, a painting of a butterfly, and a I'm a, I don't want to talk to the ant. A painting of a spider. Oh, cool, it did it for me. Neat. Anyways, over here, prologue. Chapter 1. Chapter 2. Last chapter. So we go in here, and there's a hole here, so we can't go by there. So we had to figure out how to get past that hole so we can continue. So, simple enough. Go over here. And as the sign says here, if you wear the edges, you walk in the middle because, spoiler alert, there's going to be some jump scares coming out of the walls here. Rawr, 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 rawr. There you go. Alright. Here's the painting of the ant that he wanted. Huh? Looks like it could be taken off the wall, so let's take it off. We got the ant painting. We're going to go back down. Don't touch the hands. Ant. Oh, that's my painting. It's just as cool as I remember it. Stare. And he just says the same thing. Anyways, we take this painting over here. You can't cross this hole on the floor. Lay down the ant painting. Lay the ant painting over the hole. Anyways, so we can get over this now, but we kill the ant as we walk over it. Sad life. So over here, we have epilogue. So I guess this is like a spider eating a butterfly. That's kind of sad. There's a lot of sad stuff in this game, too. I'm sorry, but whatever. I like this game. Anyways, let's pick up this key. Something on the ground. Green key. And the statue comes to life. Ah, run, run, run. Uh, ah, you can't get me. Anyways, made some noise. Go back inside, and it fell through. Big deal. 
Anyways, let us continue through here. Da, 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 da. And let's save. Why not? Okay. Use the green key. Anyways, this is supposed to be a cat. Looks kind of like Totoro, does it not? Uh, future me put a picture of a Totoro on the screen so people can see. Anyways, let's go over here. This room was changed a little bit in this version. This used to be a piece of paper, but now it's just a, uh, there's a crack in the floor that it could easily trip you up. But what you're supposed to do is just kind of stand on this side of the crack and wait for this bust to quite literally bust. And then there's something on the ground inside of it. So we get a wooden fish tail. I'm going to use this vase that has some water in it to get my rose up to full health. That has no meaning, I don't think. You can't examine it. This is a painting of a red rose. So as you can see up in the corner there, Eve can take five hits total. She is in maximum health right now. Box is empty. I've never examined this stuff, so why not while I'm in here? What is this? There are lots of dirty pallets inside. Okay. Anyways, that's all that there is in here. We're gonna go off to the other side here. And this was also changed. Um, let's see. Play hide and seek. So you had to find a little stick man. In the version that I played, he was right here, but he's not there anymore. He is here. Oh no. Okay, that um that comes into play much later. But um Give me a second, because I really don't remember where he is now. Alright, after much trial and error, he is exactly where I thought he was to begin with. Or maybe it's random every time, quite honestly. I don't know, because I don't remember him being here the last time I played. But, I ended up getting every single one. Um, this one comes into play later. This one makes you take damage. This one makes the room darker. This one makes you take damage. This one puts this hand on the screen, which is really obnoxious. This one cuts out the music. And this one's the right answer. So, um, I would avoid this one because it's kind of gruesome. Kind of. But, um, this one also leads to a bad ending if you get too many things that count towards a bad ending. Um, but... Yeah, I'm not going to go for the bad endings. I'm not going to go for any other ending except for the good one. I found this on my playthrough last night. And, um, well, I still got the good ending. So we'll, we'll go with that. Let's talk to this guy. Found me. You get a prize. So if we go up here, I know it's kind of hard to see with this hand. But right here, we get a wooden fish head. We combine that with the tail that we had earlier and we get the fish key. What is this? Chef's talent. Cool. Anyway, let's go out of this room and get this hand off of my screen. We'll give this to the cat. Fish shape hole in the wall. It's a fish key. This is going to be kind of loud. Alright, well, let's keep going. And if I could get a vase somewhere around here, I could bring myself back up to full health here. Anyways, this guy is going to spit. Do not walk in this. It will hurt you. Let's save right here. So, a totally white painting, but if you look real close, you can see that it's not totally white. There is a small red dot right in the middle. So, if you examine it again, looking closer, there's actually a small number in the center, and it's a 9. You want to remember that, and you want to remember the color that it is, too. Just when you've forgotten. I'll go over that in a second. Beware of lips. That is referring to this guy right here. Do not talk to these. They will hurt you. Anyways, this, just when you've forgotten. This is reminding you, jump scares! Anyways, let me go ahead and do this since it's right here. You examine this doll. It's a doll dangling from a rope. It makes this doll drop down. You examine this one. There's a doll on the ground. The doll's clothes have a small number on them. 18. So that number is green, so keep that in mind and remember the number as well. Alright, so we'll go in this room. This is the liar's room. Keep that in mind. Alright, so, let me go ahead and show this room. This room right here is a puzzle, so you start from here and you go any number of steps and then you pull up the tile. And depending on what the paintings out here tell you to do, one, most, all of them are wrong except for one. And the one who's telling the truth is the one you want to go with because all the rest of them are lying, as it said on the outside, because this is the liar's room. So we'll go through one at a time, 
and we'll see which one is telling the truth. Stand in front of the statue, go west three steps, then south one step. That's the answer. Okay, but we don't know if you're lying or not, so let's see what Mr. Brown here has to say. Stand in front of the statue, go east four steps, then north two steps. That's the answer. We don't know if you're lying, though. The one in white speaks the truth. All right, well, let's talk to the guy in white. Stand in front of the statue, go east two steps, and south two steps. That's the answer. All right, but we don't know if you're lying either. What about you? The only truth speaker wears green. But we don't know if green is telling the truth. Red. I agree with the one in yellow. And the one in white says the truth. So this points to it could be either the white one, the brown one, or the green one. So I'm going to give you guys a second. Post in the comments below what you think of as the liar or the truth, the truth teller. Who do you think is telling the truth? I'll wait. No, I won't. I already know the answer. So from here, go one, two, three, four, one, two. There's Lewis Tollage feet. Roll it up. And there's a number on the back of the towel. Four. And it's purple. Remember that. And if you go back outside, they all killed Brown. Because he was telling the truth. Liar. 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 They're all calling him a liar, even though he's telling the truth. But okay. So we have a red 9, a green 18, and a purple 4. And you're thinking, what do those numbers have any significance towards? Is that like a password or something? Well, it actually is for this door right here. Password on the door. So it's a math equation here. So you have green X times red X plus purple X. So you just plug in your numbers here. It is 18 times 9 plus 4. So if you want to get out your calculators and do that right fast, that is not a problem. But I'm going to go ahead and put in the answer. It is 1... 66. Anyway, we go in here, get this wooden apple off the tree, and the stall falls. That has no significance at all. Anyways, another jump scare, big deal. Anyways, you feed these to the lips here. Hungry, give food, that food, give to me. Give the wooden apple, yes. You place the wooden apple on the mouth, it eats it. It's tasty. I let you pass now. Go through my mouth. Uh, okay. Now this one, this one can be a little scary. Um, but literally all you have to do is just keep walking. Just keep walking. Not a big deal. Do not stop. See, you're fine. And this actually was not here in the uh, original version here. But uh, you can actually get over to that too, so I'm going to show where that is. That thing running away has no purpose whatsoever except to spook you. But if you go, you see how this is like a different color right here? You walk through here, you can get to this painting. Soul something and eh, something. You don't know some of the words. But uh, that's kind of insignificant here. Um. I think I'm going to call it right here for this episode, so next time on Eve, we're going to go through that door and get a little bit further into this strange, strange art gallery. I will see you guys then. Bye!